I know. Lovely to see you. Now make yourself up. I know. Oh. Now the thing is. I know. The, yeah. the biggest job tonight is getting up in the stew. Well, that's good. Well, hopefully stay there a long time. I hope and so. And lots and lots of money. I brought my good luck charm, by the way. Who's that? Freddie Forsyth. Oh, oh well, he's a, good, <laughs> he's a good, good luck charm to have, actually. <laughs> right. <laughs> to a lot of people, she is the first lady of British broadcasting, Gloria Honeyford, and the best-selling author, Frederick Forsyth. Gloria was born in Northern Ireland, and before getting into local radio in Elster, spent a year at a secretarial school where she learned the typing and shorthand skills apparently she still uses today. In 1982, she moved to England and became the first woman to have her own daily show on Radio 2. Uh, since then, she's also hosted her own TV shows, including Open House and Sunday Sunday, and appeared as a guest on everything from Through the Keyhole to Never Mind the Buzzcocks. <laughs> a partner tonight, novelist Frederick Forsyth, also used to work in TV and radio as a reporter, but became world famous in 1973 with the publication of his very first novel, The Day of the Jackal. Uh, he's since written many more bestsellers, including The Odessa File, The Dogs of War and The Fourth Protocol, as well as writing and producing TV thrillers. Now, tonight, Freddie is raising funds for the Society of Stars, while Gloria is playing on behalf of the Karen Keating Foundation, a charity she herself set up in memory of her daughter Karen, who died of breast cancer in 2004. Gloria, my darling, I know it's been a really tough time for you and the family. Has the public response to this helped strengthen you? Oh, it, it helps enormously, done. it does. And, you know, the letters that I actually get great comfort from are from people who've lost children themselves, because I've lost my parents, a former husband, friends, colleagues, but actually, although they were deeply, deeply sorrowful, but it's not even on the Richter scale compared to losing a child. And mm. so therefore, you know, when parents write and say, or particularly a mother writes and says, I know how you feel because I lost my child 22 years ago or whatever it is, in those letters have been hugely thank or, uh, are useful. Um, apart from, of course, just the wave of love towards Karen. I mean, that also helps yeah. you through. Of course. And it's not just the, the foundation is not purely for breast cancer, is it? Oh, absolutely not. Um, we have a very clear idea about what we want to do and what we are doing. Um, we, we feed all sorts of cancer charities and we do what I loosely call drip feeding because we don't do massive payouts, although we have raised quite a lot of money. But we do, you know, 5,000 here, 10,000 there, 12,000, sometimes 2,000. But where it really makes a difference. So that's why it's wonderful to come on a show like this with the prospect of winning anything really because I know there'll be a project that that will help. Hopefully we can raise lots of money between you. Frederick, the Society of Stars, what's the real major focus of their work? Uh, well, it's only one. It is raising money for children with cerebral palsy. It's, um, it's, a, it's an unglamorous, if you like, and uh, sometimes disregarded um, affliction, but it is mm -hmm. an appalling disability. Mm. It strikes children at birth and they, they never really, well, they rarely recover from it. But there are a lot of improvements but they cost money, yeah. so NHS doesn't do much, so we do what we can. Okay, well, fingers crossed for both of you. Fifteen questions, three brand new lifelines, start all over again, a possible one million pounds for these two very deserving causes, and remember, they have to agree on all their final answers, these two agree on nothing, and all their <laughs> final answers, and the use of any lifelines, including their phone a friend. Lots of luck, Gloria and Freddie. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Celebrity Millionaire? <laughs> All right, back down at the beginning. Question number one is for £100. Complete the title of the nursery rhyme... What am I doing with my life? <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, <laughs> little dot, 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 question mark. You are one of these anyway, Chris. Yeah. So it's fine. Moon, sun, planet, star. I think we should say. I think we should. And thank Stop. God it came up. Because if it hadn't come up, I think you were wrong. At least we agreed. <laughs> yes, the right answer, you have £100. <laughs> Okay, I don't know how to break this too. They do get a little harder. Uh, question number two is for two hundred pounds. Which of these is a form of gambling? Brush steak, clean steak, broom steak, sweep steak. You might agree in this as well, mightn't we? It's a big Irish one, isn't it? <laughs> <There> <laughs> is. We we'll go for steak. sweep steak. Oh. You have two hundred pounds. <laughs> Question number three is for 300 quid. Which of these plants is most associated with the desert? Mint, cactus, rhododendron, ivy, 
Very prickly question, don't you think? I would have thought so, yours. <laughs> Cactus. These yes. are the only ones I've got right, by the way. No, so but I this is good. Go early. Chance for you to show off. Oh, no. You got three hundred pounds. We'll play Gloria. We'll play Frederick. Right, you're two away from a thousand pounds guaranteed. Question number four is for five hundred. Which English city shares its name with a U.S. president? Winchester, Lincoln, Durham, Ely. Also, you know them all anyway over the years, don't you? I think this is Abraham. I, I never heard I of Abraham so. Winchester. We wouldn't lie about it anyway, we would lie. we? This is Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> it's the right answer, Lincoln. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> Right, last point, you could go home with nothing. I'm sure it won't happen. You have all three lifelines intact. Uh, this will guarantee you £1,000. Question number five. What kind of domestic animal is a pug? Cat, rabbit, dog, fish. Well, no, you take it. <laughs> it's a dog. It's the right answer. You have £1,000. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> At this moment, Gloria Honeyford and Frederick Forsyth are in the hot seats playing for their two respective charities. They're guaranteed at least £1,000 and they have all three lifelines remaining. Are you enjoying this, Freddie? Yes, in an expectant sort of way. <laughs> expectant? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a curiosity about what's going to come next. Yeah. Uh, and a sort of feeling standing in front of the headmaster's study door that it's going to be horrible. <laughs> no, it won't be horrible. <laughs> But your life, Freddie, I mean, you've, mm. even, as, even as a young guy, you, you were ed educated in Tunbridge, then you went off to Spain, then you were travelling with Royce. I mean, you've, you've, you had an extraordinary beginning of sort of travelling where you must have accumulated an awful lot of knowledge. I have, I think, visited about 70 countries now, in one way or another. Um, I just enjoy, I don't, I don't enjoy the travelling much, but I do like arriving and exploring. I mean, the research you do into your, your novels is, I mean, really intense and meticulous. I'm doing so that, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Yeah. I'm, I'm, if I hadn't been here tonight and you'd said, come in next month, I'd have said, I can't make it. I'm going to go into, I go into, I disappear. I go into complete seclusion when I write. So you I'm really like, do lock yourself away? Yeah, I need this total. It's, it's 24 hours a day. Right, now, serious business, guys. You have £1,000. Uh, you're playing for two charities tonight, for the Society of Stars and, of course, for the Karen Keating Foundation. You have £1,000 guaranteed. You have all three lifelines. Mm -hmm. Question number six is for £2,000. Mm -hmm. At this moment, you are ten away from one million. Here we go. Complete the title of the 1991 film directed by Anthony Minghella. Truly, madly, gladly, deeply, greatly, wisely. Together? Together. Deeply. 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 <laughs> Final answer? Yes. Please. It's Sorry. the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> You are nine away from a million. You have your 50-50. You have a phone a friend. I know you've got a great list of phone a friends. And you have asked the audience. Question number seven is for £4,000. With which road safety product is the name Gatso most associated? Airbags, seat belts, speed cameras, traffic cones. I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. <coughs> Shall I? Yes, please. It's named after a Greek or Mr. Gatsonides. It's the speed camera. Hey, what an answer. That's why you chose him as your mate. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Up front, um, I admit it. Yeah. Might be wrong, he might be mad. <laughs> May they um, perish <laughs> in horrible ways. He's called Mr. Gatson. What, what was it? Gatsonides, I think. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, final answer, I suppose. Or Gatsopopoulos. <laughs> final answer? Yes. Final answer. It's absolutely right. You've got £4,000. <laughs> Called, I think in the months he was called Morris, wasn't he? Morris Gatsonides, which always sounds very often. It's him we've got to thank for all those lovely speed cameras around our roads. Thank you. Bless you, Morris. Uh, you have £4,000. Question number eight is for 8000 Money now starting to creep up quite nicely. You have three lifelines still untouched. Here it comes. Which of these schemes was introduced by the British government in 1956? National lottery. Premium bonds. Football pools, unit trusts. Mm. Tricky little question. Not for you. 
You're too young, Laurie. You weren't I even born. Of course. I remember it well. No. <laughs> I went out and bought one. I can remember drawing the ball in on the football pools. <laughs> That's all I know. Um, no, I wouldn't be 100% sure. I would have a good guess, but um, if you know, go for it. Uh, well, unit trusts don't belong to the government. The National Lottery was, I think, under John Major. Football pools don't belong to the government and precede the Second World War. The premium bonds were introduced in 56. Final answer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Chris. It's the right answer. You have £8,000. <laughs> I love your confidence. <laughs> Gloria, I'm beginning to see why you brought Frederick. Listen, I have I have Fetty's number in my book so many times, just in case I lose one of them, you see. <laughs> <laughs> you have eight thousand. You have three lifelines untouched. You are seven away from one million. Question number nine is for 16,000 pounds. Have a look, take your time, tell me what you want to do. Who starred as Police Commissioner Macmillan in the 1970s TV series, Macmillan and Wife? Gloria, you got a little smile on your face. Sort of. <laughs> Rock Hudson, David Jansen, Jack Lord, Carl Malden. You want this? You know because you is. don't know. Of course I do. do you no, know? no, no I don't. I'm, I'm not actually 100 percent sure. Oh really? So if you no, do know, go for it. It was Rock Hudson. Oh, take your time, Freddie. Hang on a second. Oh. <laughs> well, David Jansen was the fugitive. Jack Lord was a Wi-Fi O, and Carl Malden was kind of this huge hooter. Um, I Carl Malden, it can't be him because he had a few. I don't think he was ever a hero. <laughs> Um, like Macmillan. Um, no, it was Rock Hudson. But I did love all those Star Stain movies. Did you? Rock Hudson, uh, I did. Meanwhile, back at the show, we're doing <laughs> Rock Hudson, are we, final answer? Absolutely. Absolutely, says Gloria, with of massive course. confidence. It's the right answer. You've got £16,000. <laughs> <000. laughs> right, now, serious business, guys, because uh, several very well known. <laughs> Um, people from Showbiz and the world of entertainment have come to this point with £16,000 on this show and have lost 15000 I can't tell you their names, but hello, Jonathan Ross, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Question number Is 10. Is it you next Saturday morning? Oh, yeah, radio, again. <laughs> Question number 10 would guarantee you £32,000. It is a huge amount of money for two charities. You have three lifelines to help you get there. You may not need them. You haven't touched a single lifeline yet. You have £16,000 at this moment. You would lose £15,000 if you did go for it and give me a wrong answer. Take your time. This is question number 10 of a possible 15. Here it comes. Katie Sexton is one of Britain's top competitors in which sport? Athletics, gymnastics, show jumping, swimming, How's your telephone? How's my telephone? It's very good. It's um, <laughs> the one in the studio. Yeah, no, it's good. It's fine. Well, it's we working. We may have to, have to ask. We're very weak on sports. Uh, and I think it's yours. I have, a, I have an idea because I think I read an article about this girl recently, mm. but I, I wouldn't be sure enough. There's so much money, I would be afraid. Fred has done so well. You're not going to tell questions. me what you think it is. You don't no, have to. I'm going to oh, ask. Yes. Um, hang on a second. Oh, hang on. If we ask the audience. Mm -hmm. We could save a real stinker. We could. For one of the aces. You know? If you wish. So, um, audience, what do you think? You can yeah. ask the audience and still decide after that what you want to do. And see if it backs I up agree. your hunch. I agree. We'll go with that. We'll sure. ask the audience. Yeah? Then. Okay, right. Audience, all in your keypads then, please. This is the question. Serious business. This is worth £32,000. This is the question. Katie Sexton is one of Britain's top competitors in which sport? Now, A, on your keypads, athletics. B, gymnastics. C, show jumping. D, swimming. All on your keypads, please. A, B, C or D, all vote now. Forty percent swimming, uh, twenty-nine show jumping, fifteen gymnastics, sixteen athletics. Not conclusive. Gloria, what was your? You might as well tell us now. What was your hunch? Well, I was actually torn between show jumping oh. and swimming, 
Um, but I'm just not that confident, and I have to be honest. Yeah. Um, no. I see this article on the page, but you know, I just could have the wrong one. So. I know. Hmm. Freddy, what do you think? If you, if I'd had no lifelines, I'd have gone actually for show jumping. Um, I made a sort of mental bet that if any figure was double the next in line, mm -hmm. that would be reasonable. But I think 40 is not near double 29. No. I think we should. Um, sure. What do you do? Phone a friend. Max Secker. Max Secker. Um, go for the Spa Sporting Ace. Yes. Well, with the deepest shall we, shall regrets we've wasted. Uh, wasted uh, I mean, at least we might get to 32,000. <laughs> I hope so. I don't want you to lose 15,000. We're going to phone um, Eamon Holmes. Eamon Holmes? Yes, my, my good friend from Northern Ireland. Uh, he got my job when I left Northern Ireland, so he owes me a favour. Did he really? <laughs> he sat in that very chair with Sir Alex Ferguson. Oh, did he? How did he do? Very well. Actually, very well. Excellent. Right, you have £16,000. Let's phone a friend and see what happens. Hello? Eamon Holmes! Chris Tarrant. You remember me. How are you, matey? <laughs> Well, I'm OK, but uh, you may change all that now. Well, no, I won't, because, well, I was just saying to Gloria, Gloria's here with Frederick Forsyth, and I was just saying that you sat in the very chair <laughs> that Gloria's in at the, uh, this very moment, and she is feeling the same sort of emotion you felt that night with Alex. Yeah, like we was robbed. Well, yeah. <laughs> like that. No, no, no. They were, I have to say, Gloria and Frederick were flying along, and they got to one specific question. Right. And suddenly, it was like, you know, they got really bogged down or whatever. But they do say that um, they hope you'll know the answer to the question. All right, matey. Bless her. So, give me the work. She knows I need it. Thank you, Glow. Okay. Absolutely. Now, listen, it's for £32,000, so it's serious business. Okay. Next voice you hear will be Gloria. She'll tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. One of these is the right answer worth a minimum tonight, Eamon, of £32,000 to the pair of them. All right, mate. Thanks, Greg. Lots of luck. Okay, Gloria, 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Katie Sexton is one of Britain's top competitors in which sport? Is it athletics, gymnastics, show jumping, or swimming? What's the name again, Gloria? Katie Sexton. S E X T O N. Gloria can 100% tell you that never heard of her. Oh, oh no. But I would, I would oh, guess no. show jumping or gymnastics. Oh. Golly, thanks, Eamon, anyway. Thanks for At least you're honest. Gloria. Sorry about that. Okay, not to worry. Um, now we're in a bit of a fix. Of all the clever people you could have run, Zach. <laughs> Well, we can take a 50 and use up... I've never seen, rarely seen anybody use three lifelines on one question. It has happened, it does happen. It has it's happened, but um, we are now... I'd hate you to lose 50 Yeah, pounds. I know. We either take the 40% audience or we do a 50-50. And potluck. But we can't lose taking 50-50, can we? No, you can't at all. So you can, still walk, well you can use 50-50 and still walk away with 16,000. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to play this question at all. Okay, well, I, that, I would go for it because it's I, think, uh, I think I, I, at the moment, you know, it's one of four. That's a twenty-five percent chance mm. we could leave, we could bring that down to to fifty percent chance. And if we still don't like it, walk. Okay, we'll go fifty-fifty. Okay, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Frederick and Gloria the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Well, the audience said forty percent. Swimming. I've never heard of this young lady in athletics. I go watch a fair amount of athletics, extra, outdoors and indoors. Can you remind me what the audience said? Oh, they did, they yes. Sixty uh, percent of the audience said athletics. Fifteen oh. percent said gymnastics. Twenty-nine percent said show jumping. Forty percent said swimming. But we live dangerous. We're forty percent. Well, well, the audience says forty percent. Uh, that says fifty percent. Uh, Aim and Holm says zero percent. And I think I I'll tell you what I'll do. If you will permit that we go for swimming, I will take responsibility. If I fail, I will make up the amount to your charity. Wow. That's fantastic. That's an offer. Fair? That's a very generous <laughs> offer. How can I resist? That is very generous. I think that's what we're going to do. That's great if you want to do it. We're going fantastic. to say swimming. Well, then you say Final? it. <laughs> Final answer. <laughs> It was the right answer. You've just won £32,000. <laughs> Your face! Your face was a picture! I've never known you so stunned. It is fantastic! And how generous of Freddie to right. actually offer I've to fill in the gap if we lost. I've just saved myself £15,000. You certainly have. Have a look.
Bless you, Dallas. This is like what you've done. Look, Take it. Have a look. They are, that's yeah. it. Now, that, it the great thing is, that is the minimum amount mm. you will leave here with. Keep it if you want it. Could no, you, you don't want to keep it, do you? No. Is that bad luck? Okay. No. Tempting fate. No, he's that's good luck. You've got £32,000. That's the minimum you will go home with tonight. That's so good. You might as well play the next question. You cannot lose on this. The next question is worth £64,000. You're guaranteed. 32,000 for the Karen Keating Foundation and the Society of Stars. This is question number 11 of a possible 15. Here we go. Which famous poem begins, On either side the river lie? Sea fever. Home thoughts from abroad. The Lady of Shalott. Ode to a Nightingale. Yours? No, yours, I think. Oh, it's the Lady of Shalott. Oh, don't oh. you love it? Don't oh, you just God. love it? <laughs> Suddenly we're back in business, Frederick. Hang on. <laughs> well, home falls from abroad. Oh, to be in England now that April's here. Oh, to an out here. Thou wast not born to death, immortal bird. Sea fever. I must go down to the sea again, to the lonely sea and the sky. And the Lady of Shalott. On either side the river lie. Bum, 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 bum. So, the Lady of Shalott, final answer. Yes. Look at you all excited. <laughs> yes. 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 It's the right answer. Yes. You have sixty-four thousand pounds. That's fantastic. Oh. Freddie is on my Christmas card list this year. Am I? Sure. <laughs> Let me have a have look. look. Have a look. Now, Freddie, have a good look at it. Mm. I just have to say, Gloria, eggs. about a minute ago, you were in the absolute pits of despair. Look at you now. Oh, I, love it. <laughs> I just love it. But I'm going to give it back to you because I think Freddie's got a few more questions in him. As they say. <laughs> There's a few more answers in him we need. I do the questions, he does the answers, how it works. He might even be doing the questions well, by the end of this. Well, I'll tell you what, if he knew four more right answers, I would be absolutely thrilled to write you both out a cheque for £1 million. But you are now on £64,000 now. Question number 12 is for £125,000. Here it is. Which... Hello, Freddie's doing it. Before it comes up, then. No. What? <laughs> no. Oh, go on. There's only two things in the world that airlines will not take, as, and, as, apart from guns and things. Two products of nature, if you like. And what are they, Frederick? The Gorgonzola cheese and the durian. Which tropical fruit is noted for its sweet taste but disgusting smell? Breadfruit. Papaya. Durian. <laughs> Tamarind. I think I know this one. I thought you might, Gloria. <laughs> you're an amazingly intelligent woman, Gloria Honeyford. I don't know why you bother bringing Freddie Forsyth. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Dorian. You just won one hundred and twenty-five thousand yeah! pounds. It is so good. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's oh we've perked up a bit since Katie, <laughs> haven't we now? <laughs> Wait till yes. I get hold of that, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is wonderful, Freddie. <laughs> right. You're, 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 on your, you're on your now, own. Now, have a look. Come wonderful. on, this is what you've done. Whatever happens tonight, you will go home with £32,000. At this moment, you can walk away with that amount of money for £125,000. The Society of Stars and the Karen Keating Foundation. So brilliant. But we don't want to give you that! I don't like you to cry any second. It doesn't sound like that for ages. I'd like to give you the next one because it's for £250,000. Frank Skinner, David Baddiel walked away with £250,000 a couple of years ago. If you give me a wrong answer here, you still get £32,000, but you lose £93,000. Decision. Several chapters, Frederick. Which I am not going to make up. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody I might go to the loo and just leave you to it. <laughs> no! <laughs> Question number 13 is for a quarter of a million, £250,000. You are three away from one million. This is the question. In which country can the Wahiba Sands be found? Chile. Namibia, Oman, Algeria. It's worth a quarter of a million. I have camped out in them.
Is everyone just clapping in for camping? <laughs> Does he remember where he was? <laughs> Gloria, I take it you haven't camped out of them. I've never camped there, no. <laughs> if, you're, um, if you're staying at the Albuston Hotel in Oman, and you're <laughs> very nice to the Sultan's SAS regiment, they sometimes take you out uh, into the Wahiba Sands for two or three days camping, and um, Bedouin watching and mock battles and all sorts of things. So it's in Oman. Gloria, I take it you probably go along with Frederick. Oh, I don't know. I think I might want to consider this for a little while longer. Um, but on average, I mean, he's done very well so he far. He's in with a chance. He know. has done quite well. Um, um, definitely, I'm with you. <laughs> final answer. Yes. It's the right answer! Yes! <laughs> Learn everything there is to know about everything, and then you'll be fully ready for classic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire tonight at nine on Challenge, or just feel like a dunderhead like me.